Hi everyone, Lee Veris here, bringing you another Phototech Tuesday. Uh, it seems it was a good response to my story about my first key art job and how things have changed for the photo illustrators today. <clears throat> Mid-journey and the like have changed the landscape for creative professionals. But it's not really a doom and gloom scenario. Today I'm going to look at another old image and explore the process of creating that image and look at how we can use AI tools to expand on the past in ways we might not have even dreamt about. In the late 1990s, I started a personal project to photograph and Photoshop a tarot card deck, mostly as a way to build a portfolio to demonstrate what I could do in Photoshop. I really had no idea what an intense project this would become. In fact, I'm still working on it. I did a lot of research about the tarot and, and set about creating these surreal tableau scenes that were part photograph and part digital illustration. I started with what is known as the Major Arcana. It's the set of 22 trump cards that were banned by the church in the Middle Ages. So here's the Devil card, uh, which is number 15 in the sequence, as we can see from the Roman numerals at the top. We also have an astrological sign associated with the card, Capricorn, at the upper left, and uh, the associated Hebrew letter, Ayin, at the upper right. So, a uh, little side note here, there are 22 Hebrew letters, and in the Golden Dawn system of magic, each letter is associated with the symbolic meaning of one of the major arcana cards. So let's take a look at how this is put together. And this is the background part of the card. Uh, and this, in fact, is, is already several layers uh, with filter rendering, this, the border pattern, uh, the granite block is also rendered out of filters. And, and then there's all kinds of uh, channel blending, channel calculations, and all kinds of stuff uh, to illustrate this sort of environment with the inverted uh, sort of pentagram star here. Um, and then... Um, I'm going to make the bottom portion of this background blue with, through a mask and an adjustment because I want uh, more color contrast with the elements that are going to be at the bottom of the card. Um, so here's my devil wings. And these were, uh, <laughs> these were from an action figure toy of the um, Aliens Queen from the Aliens movies. Uh, so I just used the wings and... Uh, uh, sort of uh, photograph them and Photoshop them here into the into the scene. Uh, and then here's our devil. And this is actually several layers. Uh, there's, a, there's a kind of a red halo around her. You can kind of see what I did was I added this in uh, behind the figure. We move him closer. You can kind of see the sort of blurry halo outline. It just forms a, sort of a red rim around the figure. Um, and the horns also are added in later. Uh, there's quite a few layers in this and just wanted to go through them to show the process of building this up. So I had to have this in my head beforehand and photograph all the elements in separate days. So here come the supplicants. Uh, the nude figures in the, in the, the bottom here crouching uh, and they have to be chained uh, to the devil and also to this little ring that I've got down there. Um, and, and so, you know, these are more layers and you have to be careful about drop shadows and how they connect to things. And uh, let's zoom in a little closer. You can kind of see how carefully I've made those chains connect to the ring, uh, which is mounted to the base. And uh, it, can, it contains the keys to their enlightenment or uh, the keys to the kingdom here. But they remain chained in... in uh, uh, supplication to the devil. They're, they're caught in the physical plane here. Can't proceed any further. Uh, anyway, here's the type goes on. These are all different type elements that I, and the astrological sign and Hebrew letter, all of that's kind of illustrated in. And uh, so there you go. You can kind of see it's a very involved process and it took me a long time to put this together and draw sketches and then assemble all these components. Now, I've been playing around with uh, some AI rendering things to, to help me finish this tarot card deck. And uh, I also playing around with some animation, which we saw in last week's um, 
uh, Photo Tech Tuesday. So uh, this now I'm taking this into Kyber uh, to just see what happens if I try to animate this card. Uh, this was something that I didn't really think of before uh, all this AI stuff. So here we're going to go into the card, and this is the animation that Kyber came up with. Kind of cool. Let's look at that again. It, it's just sort of a morphing animation, and uh, I think it's very cool. So, <clears throat> in fact, what I did is I took the rest of my tarot card, the, the Major Arcana, that's 22 cards, and I loaded them into uh, Kyber to do uh, an animation morphing from one card to the, to the next. And here's that, uh, here's that little movie. So we can see that this AI stuff can extend our capabilities into areas where we might not have any special expertise. Like I'm not really an animator, um, but uh, very cool. This 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 makes these complex processes accessible to mere mortals like me. <laughs> and it's the tip of the iceberg. By the time next year, uh, we'll see much better quality all the way around. And you can bet that I'll be taking advantage of all this to finally finish my tarot card deck. That's 76 cards, I believe, in the whole thing. Anyway, um, that's it for now. I'd love to see your comments. Let me know what you think about all this AI stuff. Is it the end of creativity? Are the machines taking over? Or does this technology give the artist new power to explore different avenues of creativity? Please remember to like the video and hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss the next video. And I'll see you in the next Phototech Tuesday.